Good morning, I'm Edwin Gal. This is One News Now. In Inbound international flights arrive today as Naia lifts its week-long suspension. However, the country's main gateway has imposed some last-minute restrictions. Gerard de la Pena joins us live from Naia Terminal 2 to give us some updates. Gerard, kamusta ang sitwasyon ngayon sa Naia? Bok ngayong araw nga yung muling pagbabalik ng mga flight galing sa ibang bansa papasok dito sa Naia matapos ang isang linggong suspension. Yun nga lang, Bok, itong mga flights na limitado na nga ay lalo pa rin malilimitahan. Bale sa ngayon ay limitado na sa apat na raang pasahero ang maaaring lumapag sa Naia kada araw. Kaya ang ginawa ng Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines by schedule ang arrival ng mga chartered at commercial flights. Tuwing Lunes at Webes, maaaring makalapag sa Naia ang mga chartered flight, particular na rito yung mga flight na ang pamahalaan na nag-ayos para sa repatriation ng mga OFW na stranded sa ibang bansa. Kailangan daw ay makakuha muna ang mga ito ng clearance mula sa Department of Foreign Affairs at sa CAAP para sa slotting dito sa airport. Ang mga commercial flight naman ay maaaring makalapag sa Naia tuwing Martes, Merkules, Biyernes, Sabado at Linggo. Kailangan naman daw ng mga ito ng abiso na 48 oras bago ang nakaschedule na pag-alis ito sa airport na panggagalingan. Ayon ito sa isang notice to airmen o NOTAM na inilabas ng kaap kamakailan lang. Exempted naman at walang limitasyon ng mga medical ambulance, mga flight na may dalang medical supplies, government at military flights at cargo flights. Ay sa Department of Transportation, kailangan nilang limitahan ng mga dumarating na pasahero. Hindi na raw kasi kakayanin ng staff ng Bureau of Quarantine at Immigration at pati na rin ang mga magsasagawa ng swabbing at on-the-spot tests kung mananatiling nasa 2,000 ang bilang ng mga pasaherong dumarating. Bok ngayong araw ay uh, dalawang flights ang inaasahang dumating dito sa Naia. Kanina ngang uh, bandang alas 3.30 ng umaga ay lumapag ang isang Philippine Airlines flight na may lamang 140 passengers galing sa Los Angeles, California. At ngayon niyang alas 12 ay nakaschedule naman lumapag itong British Airways na flight galing sa London sakay ang tatlong daang seamen. Bale, ganito ang mayiging mga arrangement dito sa Naia hanggang sa June 10. Yung ibang mga airport naman, international airport dito sa bansa, dun sa mga probinsya natin, ay may kanya-kanya ring restrictions na itinakda para sa mga arriving international flights. Bo. Maraming salamat, Gerard de la Peña. Makati residents will receive additional financial help from the city government to the tune of 5,000 pesos each. All residents and registered voters in Makati, 18 years old and above, can apply for the Makati Zen Economic Relief Program or Makatulong 5K for 500K program. They just need to submit a copy of their yellow card, Makati Zen card, or voter's ID number to qualify for the program. The cash assistance will be granted per resident and not per household. So if there are four qualified beneficiaries in one family, the household will receive a total of 20,000 pesos. Application forms may be lodged through the Makati Zen mobile app, the Makati Zen website, or through forms which will be distributed by barangay personnel. The ongoing community quarantine may have been an opportunity for mothers to celebrate Mother's Day with their family, but for those who are thrust in the front line of the war against COVID-19, the celebration took a back seat. Here's the rest of the story from Justine Punsalang. On a regular day, workers from Manila's public safety department should have been at home celebrating Mother's Day with their family on Sunday. But because of the COVID-19 crisis, they're busy cleaning the streets instead as the city struggles to contain the coronavirus infection. Barangay 207 Chairman Nora C. wanted to hug her daughter and granddaughter on Sunday. But being at front line of the COVID-19 crisis meant she has to limit physical contact with her loved ones just to be safe. Ay, siyempre ba, may banding. <laughs> Lalo naman, isa lang anak ko. So talaga nakakamiss. Saka siyempre ba, yung apo niyo? Yung apo ko, yes ma. Nakakamiss talaga dahil misal man sila sasabihin ng aking apo na, Mami, kailan ka matutulog dito? So ma'am, wala akong masagot. Siguro ma'am, pagkatapos na lang nito, tsaka natin i-celebrate yung, yung Mother's Day. 
Police Lieutenant Colonel Evangeline Martas Cayaba also spent Mother's Day away from her three kids. She spent the day making sure that peace and order are maintained in Santa Ana, Manila. For the meantime, she is busy watching over the 251 uniformed personnel under her wing. Masaya ako kasi masaya na malungkot. Masaya kasi nagawa ko ang istasyon ko, nalip ko siya from kahit may pandemic, yung mga tao ko, they are doing their job. Martha's Cayaba finds comfort in her colleagues who have also sacrificed family time to help the government curb the pandemic. Parang you are alone. <laughs> alone ka because... Uh, pero na-overcome ko naman siya because meron naman akong second family. Police officers have been deployed to different areas to enforce quarantine protocols since March. The extended enhanced community quarantine in the nation's capital is scheduled to be lifted on May 15. But cities with high infection rates might see another extension of the ECQ. So far, almost 900 residents have tested positive for SARS-CoV-2 in the city of Manila. Justine Punsalang, News 5. Tropical depression on Bohol intensifies as it slowly moves closer to the country. Pagasala spotted the weather disturbance off the coast of Hinatuan, Surigao del Sur, packing winds between 55 and 70 kilometers per hour. It is currently moving in a westward direction, but is expected to slightly move north in the next couple of days. Based on Pagasa's forecast track, Ambo will likely make landfall over Catanduanes on Wednesday. Tropical cyclone wind signals have yet to be raised, but Tambo is set to bring light to moderate rains with isolated heavy rain over Mindanao. Other parts of the country will only experience cloudy skies with isolated rain showers beginning today. For more updates, follow News 5, The Philippine Star, and Business World Online. I'm Ed Lingao. We are One News.